Salomão. 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 Two brothers out of Living Waters Church here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we like to start by giving all praises to Yahoo, Bashim, Yahoo, Shah, Bashim, we're talking to Dutch. Shalom to the children of the Most High God, and a special shalom to those that are laboring to be in the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, this is a continuation. This is a continuation from the lesson that we, uh, the lesson that we were uh, bringing out, and that lesson was uh, don't become the physical embodiment of what the Most High hates. And just picking up where we left off. This is Zechariah 8 and 16. Again, this is Zechariah. Book of uh, Zechariah 8 and verse 16. It reads, These are the things that ye shall do. These are the things that you shall do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shall must. So you, you must do this. And it's coming from your Howard Bashim to Howard Shah directly. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor, the truth. And there's a difference between truth and fact. You know what I'm saying? Just because some of fact don't mean it's the truth. The truth comes with a spirit. Execute judgment of truth and peace in your gate. So execute judgment of truth. <laughs> judgment of truth. So just not judgment of fact. You know what I'm saying? The fact is that uh the heathen are not the people of God. So that's what I'm going to use my judgment based upon. Yeah. It's not the judgment of truth, man. Sorry. It says execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And, and the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. You know, so this is something that you must do as a servant of Yahweh Bashim al Shah or a child of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You must execute judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his name. Right, and let none of you, <laughs> hold on, let none of you imagine evil in your heart towards your neighbor. This is what you must do directly from your house, Hashim outside. You must execute uh, the uh, truth of judgment and peace in your gates. And you cannot imagine evil in your heart towards your neighbor. Love no false oath. And love no false oath. For all these are things that I hate. Yeah, and all because all these things are things that I hate. Because when you perform when you when you make an oath or a vow, this is something that you must perform now. So if you're making false oaths, you're making you basically saying these are things that I must perform. You make a performance out of things that you have by Shimel Shah did not say you had to perform. It said when you have by Shim, matter of fact, you get some rock. In verse 20, the fear of the Adawan is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotence. Right, so that's what it's all about the performance of the law of life, the performance of what Yahweh Bashim al Shah wants to perform, not what you want to perform. You know, so if you're if you're if you're if you're uh if you're abiding in false oaths, that means you're you're basically saying these are things that we must perform that you help Hashem Shah didn't tell you to perform. Mm. And that's not giving him all in the fear of the Lord, it's all performance of the law. So you're not reverencing the Lord properly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're not yeah. if, if you're just performing something that somebody told you you gotta perform and you help Hashem Shah didn't tell you to perform it, that means you're not reverencing him. That's right. You know? And and this is where uh, reverence to the Lord uh, brings forth in performance. It, it brings forth uh, executing proper on uh, the truth and peace and judgment and gates. And it, and, it, and it also gives you the performance of how not to imagine evil in your heart towards your brother or your neighbor. You know, that's what the, that's what the heavenly Father says you must perform. That's the oath that we have to submit to, not nothing else. You know. So. This, this particular scripture 
It shows that if you are not executing true judgment, you become the embodiment of what the Ottawan hates. Yeah, read yourself one time. Zechariah 8 and 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak to every man truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and the peace in your gates. Let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. Love no false oath. For all these are things that I hate, saying the out of one. So this shows that if you're not executing true judgment, you become the very embodiment of what the Most High hates. So men, Salaki, when we know men are marks, so you can literally become a walking ensemble of what the Ottawan hates. So an individual can, can become directed away from wickedness or fall into perdition by imagining evil in their hearts towards their neighbor. It's hateful before the Ottawan, loving false oaths and promises and rudiments and elements of the world really makes him upset and grinds his gains. Micah 6 and verse 8. Reads, he has showed the old man what is good. So, and so yeah, yeah, my son and already showed us what's going. We read about it in Zechariah eight. Mm -hmm. We just read about it in Zechariah eight, and executing truth and, 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 and peace in your gates, and executing proper judgment. You know, and not imagining evil in your heart towards your brother. These. These are the things that Yahweh Shemashah showed us that we must do. He said, these are the things that they shall do. That's right. So he showed us what we got to do. Yep. He have showed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Most High require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with the Most High. Right, so that's all the Most High requires of us. He requires of us to, what, what did it say, y'all? To do justly. To do justly, he requires us to do justly, which just be doing justly is doing righteousness. And equity. And equity. Righteousness goes into uh justice, equity, fairness, or balance, which a false balance is an abomination to the most high. Diverse weights, basically talking about unequalness in judgment. Not executing truth in judgment. <laughs> Love mercy. Come and love mercy. So he required, so the most high that showed us what's good. That's to do justly, to love mercy, to love mercy. We're supposed to love mercy, not only just do mercy, but we're supposed to love it. We're supposed to have an affinity to mercy. Yeah. Well, mercy and truth uphold us the throne of a king. That's right. That's right. Nobody has to be touched on what mercy is. You know what mercy is. Because <laughs> you want a lot of it. God. To walk humbly with the Most High. And to walk humbly with the Most High. Mm -hmm. To walk humbly with the Most High. How do you walk humbly with the Most High? I tell you about it in 1 Peter the 5th chapter. You got to be clothed with humility and be subject one to another. That's how you walk humbly with the Most High. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was it on that card. Oh, you want to let you read that commentary. Yeah, read it one time. And to what? Okay. This is Micah 6 and verse 8. He have showed the old man. What is good and what doth the Most High, the Ottawan, require of me? Do justly. It is stop. So as soon as I try to put my hand in this car. Salaki. Salaki. Micah 6 in verse 8. He has showed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with the Most High. So 
that's all the Heavenly Father really requires of you, is to love mercy, to do justice. So, if you do what's wrong, the, the Heavenly Father is obligated to punish you for it. Because a false oath is an abomination unto him. And to do anything other than righteousness is an abomination in the sight of the, of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, and, and, and love, and so this is what the Most High requires of you. He requires of you to do justly, love, mercy, and walk humbly with him. Say that he requires anything else, that's a false oath. So to say that it, it, to say that the heavenly Father requires anything outside of loving mercy, doing justly, and walking humbly before Him, that's a false oath, man. That's right. You know, to, to, to say, you, sh you sure you ready to come to? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, saying that he will punish you for it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, yeah. Saying that the heavenly Father will, will punish you for doing anything outside of walking justly, doing mercy, and walking humbly before the Most High. That's a false oath, man. That's a false oath, and you're gonna get punished for that. Right. You can, you can't. You, you, you're trying to tell somebody, oh, the heavenly Father, he requires you to not love mercy. He requires you to not walk humbly with yeah, them. Right, he right. requires <laughs> you to not do justly. Right. That's a false oath. That's right, man. Are you, are you goofy? That's all the Heavenly Father requires of us. Right. <laughs> it's to say he requires anything else, that's a false oath. So that's to show that he hate, he would hate you for that. God. You're to hate it now. God. Because he doesn't like false oaths. So you're embodying, you're, you're embodying exactly what the Heavenly Father hates. Loving false oaths. Not executing true judgment. Not loving mercy. Not walking humbly with him. Not doing justice. Now you become the embodiment of what the Heavenly Father hates. How the hell you gonna say? How, how you gonna say the heavenly Father gonna punish you for, for loving mercy and doing justice right, right. and walking humble when that's what He requires of you? Right. It's because you're, you're turning things upside down. God, you're going about to establish your own righteousness is what you're doing God. by saying stuff like that. God, huh? you read the eleven to work on that oh, man, because I had just came across this love uh, earlier this week. Salakia. Bear with it for just a second.